define what is computer. This is what I have experienced. And still, a lot of confusion happens with the, the terminology associated with the computer science. And uh, the topic which we have defined here, the title of the conference is machine learning and data science. Probably uh, it could be uh, in a different way because I think so. It is my perception of looking at the research because machine learning is not first, data is first. The entire computer science, uh, when I was joined as a teacher, we are not calling the computer system as a computer, a data processing unit. The name was computer, uh, at that time they used to use it as a data processing unit. So therefore, the entire uh, the main system or the any network, whatever you can read, it depends on the data. Here data is first, then scientific approach to analyze the data is second, then how to make it to implement is the third part. Then machine learning it will come into the picture. So therefore, I started with very basic example which I usually use to go in the class. With that, I started what is data. Right? Most of you already well aware, even though just you think it is a review for you, are looking once again at it. So my basic, these are the, my uh, today's discussions and agenda. Just I will make you uh, to understand uh, data science and uh, machine learning. If you are not at all exposed to these areas, if you are already well aware, there is no problem. Then types of machine learning algorithms. Uh, then I will go to the tools which are used for data science and machine learning. Later on some applications. Then what we did the research in uh, AI in Karnataka Arts Commerce College. Later on the career in data science and yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is a brief uh, layout or uh, outline of my talk. So basically, uh, data science, there are two keywords as you know well. Data is something different and science is something different. Science is a branch which deals systematically to analyze anything. So here they are given the name science because the data is a crucial part of computer system. So therefore they want to analyze systematically using some approaches. So here, what is data most of the time being a computer science teacher I won't believe this data and information on the same, but probably roughly sometimes we are using data and information on the same. A common way he can say data and information on the same. To the computer science teacher, data and information is totally different. So therefore, data basically it comes from different resource sources. That is there. Here one example very. Uh, Clearly, what I used to teach uh, uh, to make the distinction between information and data because computer evolved to process data only. The problem happened to solve the problems, the problems depends on the data, then they have started to make some machine to solve it. So, therefore, basically, data, but data, what it is exactly, what we are calling it as the raw fact, raw figures, which are unprocessed, which are not clearly giving any information. Has a small meaning, so kind of thing. So, if you are here, uh, uh, preparation of a cup of tea is a, my objective. So, what I need to do, so I have to add the components water, sugar, tea powder, and milk. So, if you are keeping these independently, they have very minimum meaning. Of course, the context may be different. In this case, water, if you are putting isolated form, Milk and sugar and tea powder, if you are keeping properly, if it's separately, then they have no meaning because you want to prepare a tea, your object is to prepare a tea. So when you want to prepare a tea, you mix it. And mixing is not sufficient, the central part is boiling. Where we need the computer science, where the computer science engineers, software engineers, or the research scholars, what we are doing. The processing is the big part. Data is available. Output we are expecting, but how to process is the big question. Where we are investing all the resources there only in the processing part. So therefore, mixing the data, processing, and this is very simple definition of computer, you know already. But still, why am I putting data in the computer? Right? So this is, but there is one quote is there. You can have data without information, but you cannot have information without data. It's most important. 
because there is no data, there is no information. However, you may have the data without getting any information from it. That is that. So, still I want to speak about data only. Because my core part is data. Now, what is data? Uh, it is raw facts, raw figures, need to process, need to store, need to analyze. Here there are correct, but categories of data is there. So basically, you will get structured data from bottom to top and right. Structured data, unstructured data, so big data, high data. This classification is there. Structured data, it is very easy to manipulate and predict. Unstructured data is very complex. Where we need structured data means what? Which you are getting in the form of a table. Which you are getting in the form of an Excel sheet. Which you are getting in the form of series. Whatever it is. You are getting in a database. So that it is already well organized. Because well organized data, manipulating, getting the information or getting the insight from the data becomes very easy. The problem is with unstructured data. If you are making structured data, Excel sheets you can take, DBMS you can take, RDBMS, RSQ, whatever you These are all the structured data. Our techniques used to make the data in the structured format. But unstructured data, for example, the image is there, the text document is there, the web page is there. So, lot of data which we are using in day to day life, most of 95% of the data is unstructured. So there we are required to put the effort to analyze it. So few examples I have given that is image, video, audio, web pages. Image is totally unstructured data because computer directly it never understands what is an image because ultimately computer understands images as you know. Anything you give it. It has to be bring in the form of a team. It has to be bring in the form of one man. Because other than that, it don't understand. Ultimately, my aim is to give the controller in the form of a new works. So there is the reason. Image is a raw. And uh, video is a raw data. Uh, unstructured data. Like Another one is the big data. Nowadays, we are now, because the focus of this conference is that only. Big data, because we need the ML. When a data size is increasing day by day, the machine ability is decreasing to perform, to get the predict or to make the prediction, to get the solution. That's why we are thinking about machine learning. Machine learning is evolving like anything to resolve. Because big data means getting the data with high speed. Every day you are, you are unable to imagine billions together data is coming from different sources. 2.5 quintillion tons of data is data is coming. Yes, professor is quoting the exact statistics. It is huge data. Velocity, variety, versatility. So these are the three V's are making big data. Because these data are need to manipulate to draw the perfect high possible decision to make the uh, what you call uh, the perfect products for the uh, solving the problems of the society. So metadata, it is okay, metadata it explains another data. So these kinds of data, just to look at it, these terminologies. So that is the main intention, that's it. So how these data are coming, from where it is coming? Number of ways, simply I listed a few here. Number of ways are there, data from where, in day to day life. So social media, entertainment, business intelligence, Analytics, healthcare, life sciences, finance, banking, e commerce, child, marketing, customer engagement, manufacturing, supply chain management, energy and utilization, telecommunication, transportation, logistics, so on. All these fields are every day pushing billions of data to the machine to prepare, to prepare the proper solution for that. So, that is the reason. Data is now core part of the discussion. Data is the core. Of course, you are getting so many data from the different sources, but the nature of data is quite different. When the nature of the data differs, analysis becomes complex. 
The analysis becomes complex. Writing an algorithm to make the machine to learn the data becomes complex. So therefore, we look at the basically how the data should be. If, if the data is very rightly organized, well organized, logically tabulated, then algorithm need not necessarily to think and take a lot of time to process it. If your data is more complex, unable to analyze, then your algorithms are becoming more complex and need to tune them. Then uh, what is data science? As you know, all the professors they know because already they are teaching data science is actually it is a multidisciplinary. You require uh, uh, a lot of things to study, mathematics you require, statistics you require, artificial intelligence you require, programming skills you require. Okay. All these in together, this data science is another kind. Why data science? Why you require the science word along with the data? Because systematic study of data is required. Machine learning is the second part. Machine learning, if you say efficient, then but this should be there first. Data should be scientifically analyzed. Fine, because the data is abundant. Vast amount of data available to derive the valuable insight. Identify it because vast data is coming. That is the reason we have to systematically study the data. That is the reason we are giving data science the name. Decision making is very complex. We have to study properly to make the proper decision. Business value, because the business person, he should know what is the interest of the customer, what is the trend in the market. Lot of parameters he should know to run his show or to run the business in the market because he is also required analysis of the data because every day is getting the lot of data from the customer and personalized issue. It means, for example, marketing is there, healthcare is there, even human being, a person, he has to maintain the record of it, all the health aspects. So all these things are there. I am predicting analytics, scientific discovery, automation and efficiency, competitive advantages, ethics and social impact. Because, because of all these, we are adding a word science. Science is a word which required to still analyze the data. That is the reason because these are the important headings where I have study. That is the reason we have to do the research in the data science. What is the pipeline? How many we have to do data science? How we have to means uh, what are the steps are required uh, in the data science to make it is correct database for the uh, machine learning. So first step, understand the problem. Understand the problem is from which source the data is coming. What is the nature of the data? Whether dependency between the data is there or not. Correlation between the data is there or not. How many variables are there? Whether it is single valued data or multi valued data. Whether regression is required or clustering is required. Whether what kind of things is there that the entire analysis you have to make before understanding before going for any further steps. So understand the business. Business understanding means understanding the data itself. Preparing the data, combining the data, because when you are preparing the data, most of the time, suppose you are well aware that if you are putting one to form to collect any information from a student, if you are not clocking it for single response, so a student can give a number of responses. So duplication of data creates. When you are opening an Excel sheet, it becomes very difficult to pick at something, you have to delete something, you have to add some, some kind of things you have to do. Why? Because we need to tune the data, because we need the perfect information. So, data preparation is important. Remove duplicate data, remove missing data, some kind of missing data you put in there, and find the missing values also. All these kind of strict techniques are there. So, these are required for prepare the data before the results. So then, this is uh, exploratory data analysis. We have to use the maps, we have to use the charts, we have to use the graphs to analyze the nature of the data. And uh, what is the data? So some data is required classification algorithm, some data is required clustering algorithm, some data is required regression algorithm. So what kind of model you want to apply on the data is more important. Because if you are unable to choose the proper 
on data to apply to get the information, you will not get the information. So therefore, it's a classification problem is there, our clustering problem is there, regression problem is there. So that kind of models you have to pick. And after applying any model on the data, whether the outcome which you are expecting it is coming out or not, that you have to validate. So for the validation, already well aware, graph validation methods are there, that validation has to be done. So because the algorithm to use different values or different results and different scenario, if you have thousands of data, if you are training 100 and 900 for testing or 900 for training and 100 for testing, the result becomes vice versa. So therefore, grass validation is mandatory to confirm the performance of any classifier and so and so. So that is the reason grass validation is there and then the model has to be here, um, the lot of uh, uh, investors are here. We are seeing machine learning development life cycle. We have heard software development life cycle. Software development life cycle is there in software engineering, you have taught the students. It means that life cycle leads to make a product or that life cycle leads to prepare a project. But in machine learning also, we should have a development life cycle. Machine learning development life cycle. What I do? I will take one data set, I will apply one algorithm, I will calculate the accuracy of that classification, then I will take one. No. It should not be like it. It has to bring in the form of a person. It has to bring in the form of application. It has to bring in the form of some kind of instant application, mobile application. For that, the annual development life cycle is must we have to go through it. That is a different aspect where we have to consider before deploying the model. So under the deploying the model, we have to follow the machine learning development life cycle. So I guess I am not putting here. Then I will go for what if I want to become more expert in data science, what I will buy. This is most important. So statistics is most important. Everyone should know the statistics, basic statistics. Central tendency is there, mean, median, mode, skew, vertices. You should know because mean is very important, it is quite common uh, parameter central tendency. Skew is important because to calculate the deviation between the observation, skewness is there because you have heard the normal curve. Skewed curves, data whether it is skewed to left side, data whether it is skewed to right side, whether data is normal there. So how you are going to analyze central tendency study, you have to do it. It is mandatory. Then not only that, probability. Probability is very, very important because you have to guess what should be the outcome. Probability theory has to be studied. Testing of hypothesis, because every research has to begin with the hypothesis, has to conclude with an answer to the hypothesis. If there is no hypothesis, that indirectly computer science teacher will say objective of the thesis. But technically, you should say the hypothesis of the thesis. Because I don't know what is the outcome it will come out of my research. I am expecting this from my research. That should be a hypothesis well framed with the statistical parameters. Then only it will be uh, it will be made it as a model or mathematical model, whatever you can call it. Hypothesis, you have to test your hypothesis. Multivariate analysis. Now all the problems, the data which you are receiving from the different sources are all multivariate. Univariate is not very simple. Bivariate is very simple. But more than two variable, if you are coming, if, it is, if you are getting the data, then it becomes very complex. Then inference is required through the multivariate analysis only. Multivariate analysis is mandatory to go through if you tune the data perfectly before going for the machine learning algorithms. Migration is there. That's also very, very important. So other than that, programming skills. Otherwise, I will come for mathematics again. Linear algebra. Linear algebra. I don't know how many you are here among you, but on image or video and audio. So anything you take, even you take a text also. Entirely we depend on the algebra. If you are very perfect in algebra, 
then in 50% of computer science, sir, you will understand inside the computer what it is happening. Because the core of the computer is in, lies in the, uh, that is what you are calling linear algebra. Linear algebra within that vector and matrix. Because the data, you, whatever you are looking at, it is in the form of the matrix. Manipulation of matrices. Manipulation of matrices, if you are well worth, then it is very good to do the programming. So, therefore, linear algebra calculus, if you are using now, the professor is speaking about deep learning, degenerate functions are the calculation, degradation calculation, difference between the previous function. So, calculus is to calculate the difference between previous value and the next one. There is a small deviation, what we are called. So, that deviation between the observations has to be calculated and we have to find the differential equations for that. So, differential equations, if you are very perfect, then you can build a mathematical model for any kind of problems. But really, where we are missing is, we are simply what we do, including me, because we have not done any mathematical modeling for our problems, what we have studied so far. Mathematical modeling is the best approach rather than doing it in experimentally or, or showing some good results like that. Because it is not a generalized uh, experiment. Suppose, assume that I am doing one experiment for identifying handwritten numerals of Marathi. I am collecting data, I am taking one algorithm, I am computing features, giving classic my result is 99%. How do you generalize this 90% of result is only with your data? If the data nature changed or same variety numerals, if I collect it from others, then in nature change, the degree degrade of the result happens or something in this matter. So all the research outcomes what we are looking at the papers are not generalized. So to make it generalization, what we require is mathematical modeling is important. Mathematical modeling it will phrase a generalized problem wherever we can apply it in the world. So that is the reason why we are unable to publish an impact in a journal which has a 5.1 impact factor or 6.1 impact factor. We are asking mathematical modeling. Experimental evaluation of your research is not sufficient enough because the resources and environment of conducting an experiment differs. You are saying you are arguing in your paper, that's it, right? To you only. But we cannot make it generalized. It cannot be taken as a, a concluded statement. It is right, no. So that is mathematical modeling technique. Optimization technique. This is most important in the mathematics part. That also we have to focus and study. So third one is... Uh, so it's time. Okay. Just time will be uh, programming skill, already all the professors are uh, well versed in that Python programming. So, to the best of my knowledge, programming part is the second phase. Understanding the problem and passing behind the problem and analyzing the data in the first place. If you are well versed in there, programming part becomes very, very simple and a lot of libraries are prepared. Just combining them and doing them. Nothing is required enough. Everything is ready made. Just you have to mix it and compile it to make one particular C. That's it. So therefore, Python is there, R library. Okay, that uh, details have over here. And SQL, these are the structured data which is also required to understand it. Visualization of the data, matplot, and for Python, that is also there. These are all already available and you know And machine learning algorithm, supervised algorithm, unsupervised algorithm, and in the these many things you should know to understand data science. This is what I do. This, this much you should know. Next is I am coming for the machine learning. Simple way I speak. So this is uh, the generation, how it is evolved. Here this, this figure is very interesting. If you look at this machine learning or deep learning or artificial intelligence, these are the branches of computer science of course. But basically the root line is here, maths, physics, chemistry and maths. If you are perfect this, because computer science it is derived from mathematics and electronics and even you can call it as physics. It has no idea, it is not a basic paper or it is not in what we call basic science papers. Physics is uh, physics, chemistry, mathematics. 
These are the basic signs, what we see. So it is derived from the field. So here you have to actually focus on maths, physics and chemistry, biology. If you are strong, then you can do something on the above. Okay? That is there, the vision. Yeah, it's very important. Learn from data. But we have studied, the computer is learning from data. That's Learning comes through the programming, so data if it is right, learning will happen, right? So these are simple examples. Computer vision, now I am going to talk about computer vision. Later on, natural language processing will be taken by Professor S. Chance. These are the two different kinds of fields. Few examples I will go to computer vision. So that is pixels. Pixels means it is a matrix. So AI process, AI process means any algorithms of AI you apply, you are getting the output. So these are the simple examples. Speech recognition. Okay, as professors uh, explained it, AI and then they have the sequence of approaches. Objective is this. What? Objective of ML is classifying data or how you get into the recognition? Whatever you can do. So, last one you want, make the predictions. You want to predict based on the Either you classify, either you recreate and you apply, or whatever kind of elements, algorithm, something. This is the objective of the machine learning, what you are trying to guess. For here, the data is like this. That is the reason I have been exploring the machine learning integral in the data sets. That is the reason. So how machine learning works, this is that already have done a lot of fun. collection of data, data pre-processing, training the model, I'm sorry, selecting the algorithm, training the model, then evaluating the model, and these are the steps. So block diagram of every research paper, if you are working on A. So these are the important ones, right? These are the algorithms. Supervised learning, unsupervised learning, simply one line, input feature and output labels. So usually in programming, in undergraduate programming, what we do is, we give the program, then in process, and give the input and we will get the output, right? So input and output has to be given first only here. Input and output has to be given, because output, now we know what output should come out. So therefore that's what we call it, labeling, labeling of the data. So that is called private learning. Unsupervised learning means unlabeled data. Plus, based on the similarity of the data, you have to group it. That is learning. Similarly, is that if you are labeled and you are unlabeled, learning through feedback, iterative method, bisection method, Newton's Ramsar method, we heard it is in numerical analysis. I heard it is approximation theory of mathematics, Newton's mathematics, bisection method. So these are the methods, iterative methods. These iterative methods play a very important role in feedback. Uh, is learn. Okay, dimensional interaction size of the feature set if it is more and more algorithm takes more time to compute their force size has to be reduced, but there are a number of techniques are there. Same tools of data science and machine learning, this is also available everywhere and you know, just like skip it. Sir is here, just I discussed with him. These are the important tools you have to look at. Which one you have to pick and start to work on it. Azure Microsoft, Machine Learning, TensorFlow. So, total more than 25 is in there. You can take any one. But Professor S. and myself, we are working on this collab. We are using this collab for conducting experiments. So, everywhere you take this details are not necessary to. If you want to read it, read it. I will leave the PPT here. But all these are solvable freely. Collab is freely available. Best for you, you know, to do the ah, tell us. Find some small kind of projects and uh, writing paper, a uh, small uh, paper. If you have more used data, then it is good. Applications of this simply I will be personalized shopping, healthcare, finance, smart cars, travel and navigation, social media. Smart home devices, create arts, security and conferences. So, well, this is the first promo brought in from Hong Kong to India to teach uh, 
students. So this is one thing I have put here. Ah, they are here, but it's like focus. This is AI research lab. It's there in Karnataka Council Downs College. So what we did there, right? Uh, basically, you know what document, any document, either it is handwritten document or printed document, any document, in any script or in any language, with any content, content means the content may be the text, content may be the image, content may be the table, content may be the kind of things. This means if you look at it in newspaper, it has a number of components. Paper is there, headline is there, running text is there, image is there. So all these components are there in a document. So usually forensic department require one important investigation from AI researchers is how we can identify case of the document. Case of the document. And source of the document. These are the three questions. Now a lot of work has been happened in the Central University in uh, Hyderabad, Civil IT in Central University. We also did the same work here along with the professor Ravadagarbha. Identifying source of the document means the document printed from which printer? When it was printed? How many days it has passed? What is the year? This has to be calculated. So this is the assignment given one of my PhD students that did very well. The context is only to help or to identify the originality of the document, which is the original. Suppose I am producing one paper to you, similar country, similar form, similar uh, layer, same paper, another paper is there. which is the original. So that comes from which source it is printed, which printer has been used to print it, when it was printed. So these two aspects we have to find. Both, uh, uh, some uh, calculations and other feature extraction, classification, how we have made computation, I am not going to explain. Simply I will show the result. Uh, or it is uh, the identification of case of document provides a clue to identify the authentic documents. That is very important. Which is the authentic document? The identification of days of government provides it to identify the authentic documents or original documents. So, this is our aim. This is the block diagram. Block diagram means uh, how we are carrying the risk. We are taking some documents which are printed, handwritten, or mixed, whatever it is. Even you know some part of the document is handwritten and part of the document is printed. For example, application forms. Application forms a student, he will write his name by handwriting and something part of that is printed. So, how we can categorize it? So, these are the components. And then documents we are getting and pre processing. Pre processing is very, very important everywhere. The data things also, because the text is a data, document is a data itself, their pre processing is very important because computer it requires some tuning, tuned data for getting the computation of pictures, classification, and output. Document source identification. Earlier is years identification. This source identification. Source means printed. Printed means printed. This is a block diagram of source identification. So here the document is like image scan, printed document, image scan. After this image acquisition has been happened. It is permitted in terms of feature computation. Feature computation means it is a matrix. Ultimately. What is feature means? It is a matrix. The properties of an image are included in the form of rows and columns. That's it. However, how the values are computed by the machine is very important. For example, if I say calculate the units of the following numbers 1, 200, 3, 4. I am giving four observations. One, 200, 3, 4. Calculate the image. What you will do? You will get the bad image. You will never get the good image. Because average means 
the value which you are calculating it should represent all the values but you are getting different results around for, for example 55 66 whatever it can be it is it is too away from first observation too away from the second observation of course it is near to the third observation like that so bad averages bad variations bad dispersions if you are getting that data never leads to the proper results so therefore here feature extraction is very important part the data matrix you look at number of uh, my research problem they failed to do it number of times i asked them to observe the table after translating it in the form of a matrix you observe the table you find out first column second column what variation is there between them whether they are dependent or scatterness is there so that kind of observation is required then classification is there that whether which printer this printer is this printer or some kind of other printer so it is looking it is a total and outline of how we did it so this is the under three process block models are over age identification block diagram is over source identification block diagram is over now i am coming for the pre process pre process it means what so if you want to take old document for analysis one thing no no sir old document if i take the computation time increases computer requires more time to give the result okay then what you can do make some blocks you take your pace make some blocks like 5 into 12 pixels or 256 into 256 pixels you pick the blocks or no no sir even block size is also more so then you can still tune it. You divide the whole document in the form of words. That is called word segmentation. To take an image, a scan document image and segment the word automatically, not manually. This is a big contribution of cases. This has been published in uh, one of the top conference document image analysis in Hong Kong 2016. This was awarded 3003, 35 US dollar per mine. Is, of course, it is a small money, but that algorithm has got some power. Automatic segmentation, of course, that algorithm still exists. Number of other citations is more than 2500 citations, but only that particular algorithm it is already available. Segmentation of words is very, very important. That is segmented output of that segmented words box. Then feature extraction. Feature extraction, there are now two ways. Now people are talking about a traditional machine learning algorithms are not good because deep learning is giving good result. So feature computation like uh, text descriptors or like whatever kind of techniques you are using, they are paid only deep learning is giving good result. But one thing you have to remember, deep learning also is, un it is, it is not uh, so reliable in some cases. Particularly in handwritten documents, still it is not proved its ability to give the hundred percent. Still, research is not because so local feature computation methods like LBP, local binary, or random transform, or discrete regular, still these are working fine. This is the reason we have not shifted to the deep learning. So, this is a contradictory is there because another weakness of deep learning is required to use data choose computational resources. So, yeah. so these are the techniques we used for calculating LVP local binary pattern or RP, WRP, NPQ, it is local phase quantization. This is also very important because local phase quantization technique is the only technique which has it is not sensitive towards the blur images. You have, you see, if the historical document is there, the document is too blur. You cannot enhance it. Even if you do enhancement, that also still it is blur. My three documents, the LPQ, that is it's more good uh, feature computation technique. So all these are the KNN classifier, string classifier, the other Later on, what we did is, we discussed with some experts. They are telling deep learning is good. We are telling some uh, conventional machine learning that is still existent good. So to test them, we did also some experiments on CNN also. These are the sample documents. Among these documents, we have made this 256 by 556 one explore. 
such an extra class will be created from the component elements. So these are the sampled elements we are using for experiment. There are some elements in Ghana in like that. But these are belongs to 1993, 1998, 2003, 2008, 2013. So, why is this thing? The documents which are printed in 1993, we collected. The documents which are printed in 1998, we collected. The documents which are printed in 2003, we collected. So, on. We collected some documents, segmented into the block. Then we have made five plus. One for 1000 text blocks of 1993, 1000 text box of 1998, 1000 text box of 2003, 1000 text box of 2008, 1000 text box of 2013. We have made five folders. All that 1000 text box of respective years we dumped into there. Then we have started to compute the features on the particular images. This is another data set, is there? This is data set. This is also another data set, which is publicly available. Interesting case is you look at it in any, any English document, take the character E, you take three printers, you print the same content from three printers, E, the letter E, it prints differently. The letter E inclination 99% to the same. So that observation you made it, would you have made it? So these are the databases. I am not going to know this. This is the first experiment. I have we have conducted five experiments. This is the first experiment. Results document classification has proved like me. Whether it is what or not. So that classification we have made and uh, it's the result here. So here two thousand thirty weeks we are treating it as the latest. Others we are treating in a board. Right? Others we are treating in a board. So, the 87.5, 92, 95, 93. These comparisons we are doing. 2008 Tapamet, 2013 Tapamet. If you are giving 1000 text blocks, whether it is identified as printed in 2008 or whether it is identified in 2003 with respect to 2013, whether the documents are classified with respect to 2013 as new and 1998 as old, that is the printed here. And the confusion table, if you look at it, this becomes more clear. So here, 87% documents which are printed in 2013 are taken in view. It means 30% misclassification is there. The documents which are printed in 2013, the machine has to tell all these are printed in 2013. But however, that document classification is pushed to the board by the machine because they are blurred and they have a lot of uh, minds. That is the reason 13% error has been shown. But the documents which are printed as word, for example, in 2008, the documents printed between 93 to 2008, all mixed it. With respect to 2013, they should be old. But here also, 100% result we are, we are expecting, but 3.75 is still error because that more clear documents are coming to the new documents. So therefore, this kind of analysis we have reported and published in Super Index Journal. So that is also uh, has an high impact factor. So this is the proposed method uh, comparison. Uh, this method recently it is published with 77.5, we have got 96.5. This is for comparison. Same data. Historical documents classification. Historical documents classification means the documents are old, blur, uh, degrading. So that classification becomes very, very complex. Mm -hmm. This is the result. We are taking 2013 82, 15 50 82. These documents are existing. It is a publicly available data set. This data can be used. So, BNN classification accuracy 90.5, SVM classification accuracy 92.8. So, this SVM has given the best average, best information data than okay. Still, 7.2 is the year. 
So here what we are representing is CN and CM is in the matter again. Your proposed method comparison with historical documents 92.8 in the second 92.8 earlier methods. This is experiment number three. Document identification as original and post. Suppose, for example, uh, you take one original document. Somebody taking that original, he will make forcing. It means he will try to write similarly what is there in the original document. How we can distinguish this? So that work also we have done. So there we have used these kind of features. Discrete wavelength transfer of RT. RT means radar transfer. When you are using the radar transfer on any image, it is giving very beautiful results in 360 angle because the image energies are lying in the diagonal. So the diagonal energies are picked by the RT, radar transform. So radar transform bands are once again uh, tuned by the discrete wave transform. There we have got the features, 315 features, which are mixed with the LPT, local phase quantization technique. So then we have calculated, conducted the experiment with 315 uh, features uh, as old, new, R, 4, 3, like that, etc. That's what we should be doing. See here, this is an image. This is actually uh, uh, A is the original image, B is the original image. This B original image they have taken and the same text which is actually not visualized here, the same text they have done. Here are three observations we have made. The paper quality, the pen used, the inclination of the character, the space between the line and the shape of the characters. So all these parameters we have counted and we have discriminated which is the original and which is the fourth. So so that result is that classification accuracy of original and original text box using SVM classifier and uh, they are working in uh, the different uh, uh, blocks. For example, all original text blocks classified as original but missing as 6.1. All the forgery documents are classified original forgery but missing the same So this is the error date. That we have done on the block. This we have done on the whole document. We are taking the entire document because we have seen if we are doing the experiment on text block, what result is coming. If we are doing on the whole document, what result is coming. But result retains same. Therefore, to reduce the computational power of the uh, computer, better you have to take the small images that part we have already done. This is the proposed. This is a live smile scene data set available, completely available. This data set is a huge data set. Here, based on the character E, that we have classified the different issue will available data set directly, live matching basis. Here, 572 features we have extracted using OB and LPT. OB and LPT histogram, gradients, and as well as local based quantization techniques we use it. Among these two, if you combine 572 features we use. 40 document images to be generated, these many features. So therefore, using 22,880 features, we have computed and classified. So these results are there. somewhere you will confuse yourselves also because when you know the domain of the problem, then only you will understand. Simply I am exposing you what we did. Now the source identification, whether the document is printed by HP printer, whether the document is printed by some other printers, so that source identification is there. Here we have taken these many printers. These are the models of the printers. The documents which are printed using this model classified as the same paper, it means 99% accuracy is there. 100 people will be printed or 100 are classified into belong to this printer. So, where the accuracy is uh, less here is somewhere here, uh, for example, 99 by 97 and 99. So, almost it is good results with the SVM. But there are two SVM classifiers are there linear and accurate quadratic. In quadratic, it is 99.8. The error CPU are located is very less. 
100 percent accuracy of classification we are with, with all these 10 different models which we are used to identify this is the one of the best paper we have got into the best paper award for this also earlier central university of hyderabad they did for five models and we did for one model. So number of study. 400 document pages are printed from the different laser printers and the names of laser printer models are friends. Same thing here. Word label printer, word label segmentation. These are word by taking word also we have classified the sources we have calculated, experimental results, and CNN model. CNN model based results. See, look at it here. Even CNN model is also getting same, approximately the same result. It means CNN is not suitable in our case. CNN is not giving so good results. Whatever the results we are getting with the traditional algorithms, same algorithms, same results we are getting. Thank you. Then uh, just use the brief part of the. This is very the style highlighted in the other This is simply located that of the authorities we have. If you are not many data science experts, these are the way you can get the job. Hospital medicine, game playing, speech recognition jobs, transportation jobs, basic recognition, transportation, all in the other. AI in India and abroad, this classification just had even in India, what opportunities and investors and the graduates they have. These are the companies, not only these, huge number of companies are in the AI. So this is the big list. Yeah, in ML, we have to try to do the startup. Now, the government of Chinese government is uh, giving the fund for startup. So, there, ML and DS. These are very, very important tools. So, you can start a small business. You can get a fund from the central government. And with the ML and DI, or you can say artificial intelligence itself, you can start your own business. Still, for success in AI and ML, you require programming skills, you require mathematics, you require statistics, you require almost the tools which is required to implement the models. It's mandatory. If that skill is there, you can start a business. So, thank you. I try to finish it within the time, one hour. So, my observation, my uh, intention was this much to become of this class. Is, I had a plan to share some basic information. I had a plan to share the research what we have done. So we have done four kinds of research, particularly on the biometrics, multimodal biometrics. Second one is document image analysis. Third one is um, botanical leaf disease identification, particularly leaf disease identification that happens with the fungi. So there are a number of uh, uh, crops are coming up uh, with the infection. We have collected thousands together leaf and we have taken it to the Bloomberg University Chemical Laboratory. Then microscopic analysis we have done it. That also four to five students they have got PhD in the different research areas. So this is from my side. I hope something I have given to you. Whether it is right or not, I don't know because a uh, number of experts are in front of me. So such kind of uh, discussions and interactions should happen every year. Then automatically we will take out uh, some new things. So thank you, thank you, one and all. If you have any questions, please. Thank you so much for, sir, for this most uh, informative session on uh, data science and machine learning. If any of the student or any of the attendees has few queries or questions, they may raise your hand and the mic will come towards you. If you have any questions, you can ask. If any of the attendee or the participant has few queries regarding this session, you the can most ask. The most we have done is that so, natural language processing is going to explain. That is also one of the big sets uh, of research where AI is uh, more important to use it. Sir, I have this one question. Please. Uh, regarding the career uh, in the data science and machine learning, uh, as you are from the Department of Computer Science, uh, there is one thing uh, regarding the PG that uh, masters in computer application is needed. 
So, doing masters in computer application or simply doing MSc in data science, like uh, which one of these is better according to you? Because if we see MSc is also uh, the most uh, great scope, and if in any company there are two candidates, one is uh, which uh, MSc and one is MSc data science, so which one they pick as per your opinion? So, what do you think? Who has to be preferred in first? Um, sir, uh, uh, like, still now, if uh, if you see that uh, there is a lot of scope, these are the most emerging technologies right now, AI and data science. So, uh, the company will definitely choose if any one consideration or specialization in any course. So, doing masters in data science is one great thing. But for the past few years, we have been seeing that MC has more scope, MC has more scope. So, that's no, this is uh, perception what you have. This is not at all running in the industries. Answer you have given already. The industry looks the same. The industry never looks at your master or any kind of certificate. Even though, if I could give some examples, they have more degrees, but they are more expert in the industry. They are more expert in doing, uh, even I cannot do some machine learning algorithms, that guys are doing and getting batch together something. So, industry is running. To prepare the product, to produce or to supply the product to the society. So they are not at all taking uh, this sensibility or degrees. Of course, your MCA certificates may be valid for government recruitment because government has the different policy industries and the different industries. Industry always looks at the skill, kind of the government policy they look at the percentage, kind of category, kind of things. So if you want to join for the government job, then certificate takes some time to do. So, if you want to join for the industry, then uh, your skill is sufficient to the best of my knowledge. Because, for example, uh, in, uh, some government uh, jobs like uh, uh, any kind of category, uh, FTC, SPC, kind of categories of jobs, there they will look at uh, percentage and they will display the uh, selection is based on the percentage. So, because the government is totally different policy in the industry. So Oh, just a thank you. Also, I have to because uh, in many companies, uh, uh, have, you, since, have you visited? Have you, have you attended any campus uh, interviews? No, sir. I have been sitting here right now, so I will experience this. Uh, sir, was the question that uh, again, uh, in your resume, the degree is MCA or uh, MSc, so degree day day you will get a chance to show your skills. But the skill will be displayed in your interview, right? So, resume will be displayed first, and if resume will not pass, or as uh, I have been listening, that if some resume, of the resume always it will be shortlisted. Almost if you are applying for any placement uh, drives, you are going to join. They will of course look into your resume, but later on when you are joining for an interview, they will be without any looking at it or taking It was, to be very frankly, it was all of my masters and the teachers are here. Now higher education in India has diverted from one level to another level. One side we are talking about quality education, another side we are preparing the graduates without getting any quality education. The most of the university is now coming up without having any UGC recognition. They are producing a lot of things. So this means degree awarding institutes there. Yeah. So in such cases, the industries know this fact. They know this fact, what is the value of the degree. That is the reason now you have a number of entrance examinations. After getting campus, do you have to appear one entrance examination to get a medical scheme? Why get entrance examinations? Entrance examinations is because to still validate whether you are fit for that or not. Understand me? So, industries are well aware of the higher education, uh, uh, the scenario in India. And most, only there are two, uh, I think CM Ram, Bharat Ratna Wadi, he has quoted in the last time, before last year, I don't know. Only 17% of Indian engineers are intellectuals, out of 100. 36 percent. 17% means see thousands of graduates we are coming up. We are unfit to survival in the industry. We are unfit to survival in this development scenario. It means still the graduates, still the higher education institutions, still the teachers, 
We have to do a lot of work to provide the quality education. Quality education we should not depend on the marks. Recently, sir, quoted honorable president of this institution, he has quoted the NAC, it has been awarded marks here to award the grade A class A. They have to sound five. Quality cannot be measured with the index. Quality to measure if it has multiple parameters. So therefore they made it as final. Final why they have made it is because they want to look at the depth of the uh, delivery of the quality education by institution. Most of the times what we do, you get them asked to put the paper, but we want to put one paper. This so it should not happen. That is, of course, uh, being a teacher because we have to come to follow the rules per hour. We have no e-caps. If you are going to become autonomous, then you can change the scenario. You can do the quality education. So, but it is not there in the entire country, it is there. But don't worry, industries are very, very, very closely. We have an association with a number of industries and it's us. They are talking about the quality. If quality, I have recommended hundred students, even they have not yet. More than 60 percent between 60 and 70. Yeah, good jobs. But government jobs in parts. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Uh, if any of the ladies have any questions, just yes, yeah. Sir, is there good, any correlation between carbon dating and machine learning? Correlation between carbon dating and machine learning. Carbon dating. Carbon dating. Carbon dating and machine learning. I don't know what is carbon dating. Uh, as you said, uh, with the help of machine learning, we can uh, get, we can know the date of that document. Okay. Carbon dating. Archaeological survey generally they do the carbon dating on. Uh, oh, so that's okay. 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 I must, I must. Thank that, you. Bit, that matters always goes to the board to decide. The, Yes, yes. So, uh, archaeological department of India has one section that is identification of the originality of the places, and that places will be first captured by included uh, in the image form, then they will do it. Carbon dating, really, I don't know exactly in that level. But computer machine learning, it will take you to so detail, even if you are, uh, I think, a number of uh, you know that signature variations. Even a same candidate, even myself, if I do 100 signatures, the variation will have some minute variation in the paper quality, minute variation in the carbon or the ink, what you can talk. The printing ink. The printing ink chemicals also differs. The printing ink chemicals components also identify. Suppose, for example, the ink companies, they do something, their own composition. The ink does not belong to one company. The ink of the printing it comes from the different companies. So from which company this ink is there? And what chemical components are there? That is a huge level of uh, investigation has been uh, doing in different areas. It means it directly is printed. You are usually you will, laser printer is there, we will fill the uh, some kind of powder and we will print that. So that chemical composition of that differs from company to company. That also they are investigating. So kind of research it is tuned. Machine learning you can take it any level. Only the machine learning weaknesses a big theory of mathematics is approximation. Because approximation when it becomes more perfect, then impact becomes more perfect. So approximation theory of mathematics, if you understand properly, then you can use ML to any extent. And it depends on the context and the problem also. I will not be satisfied you, but because I don't know that you're talking. Normally, we have a debate between mathematics professors and computer science. Mathematics professors always they say you people will take surface level knowledge and you go for prediction. You won't go in the depth for deriving the equation. Yes. Sir, it's 100% right. Uh, to my all the friends, uh, four PhDs I awarded. Totally six members registered, two are in the among four members, several times I used to ask them, please go through the linear algebra. Linear algebra usually used to study in two ten plus two. We study, but we don't know the its effect 
if you don't have its experience, what happens if you are doing kind of battery collection, battery multiplication, how it happens with the machine, how it is giving you the outcome. That manipulation of matrices for matlab is already made by matlab. So I asked them to make some manipulation. For example, you take a small image, any small image, you cut it 10 times, you observe each part, throw the matrix on it. Because every part of the image, if you move into the computer, it becomes a small matrix. So matrix manipulation, if you are more perfect, then 50% of the image process problems you can solve. Feature computation, we say, LBP, we say. What is LBP? LBP is a matrix manipulation itself. The uh, discrete wavelet transform matrix manipulation itself. But how it is manipulating, we don't understand it. As professor said, directly library is available, need of beauty function is available, we are applying it. But students who don't know what is happening inside the computer are the matrix or are the image. If you don't do like that, your results will be appreciated. And most of the students, PhD students, they don't write WT equation without seeing anything. Still, they complete PhD, but they won't write the basic equation of the WT or RT, whatever it is. So, basic model, if you understand perfectly, that only computer sustains. Computer is one super level because background is mathematics. If you are more perfect in mathematics and statistics, then computer applications exist. Otherwise, computer applications, they have their own problem. They have their own problem. So, mathematics is the basic part I would like to say. We will allow the mathematics, how data science is professor and talking. Please go through the statistics, basic statistics. Because multivariate analysis, how it is taking more important role. Multivariate analysis is most important role in hypothesis, testing of hypothesis. So, next. Uh, is there a reason between different models of from the same company printing the data differently? And uh, I have three questions. Yes. And, and if we print an image from different models, can we identify that image? Under how? A printer, B printer, C printer, you get three printers. Same image you print from the three printers. That is what we have done. You can 100% classify. You can 100% estimate the age of the document. Then you know this algorithm is already available for you. That same research we have done. When we are asking which printer is used to print, that data collection, if you have 100%, you can identify the model. That is what we have shown here. And uh, this, depending on different levels of ink in the printer, the output is different. How would that computer? This is what I am telling you. If 100 papers from A printer, 100 papers from B printer, 100 papers from C printer, 100 papers with same papers. I am saying the same 100 papers you print from A, B, C. If you are calculating 100%, you are not getting a result. What is the reason? Because the printing style. So in the header, you have heard printer as a header. I have heard header. Uh, that header stroke differs from printer to printer. The header stroke to create a character, it differs from printer to printer. So even the stroke frequency also we have to listen. With what stroke they have created that character of the paper. So a lot of uh, minute observations are there. Still, this you can do research on that. But we failed. Even all the document image and list professors, those who are working in abroad in India, Still, they are unable to devise any generalized algorithm for handwritten document image analysis. Still, it is a burning problem. Even OCR people are telling OCR also now it is failing complex document images. It is that same whatever question is there, the same thing what we have done it. If you want to do any work on that, we will give the database. Carbon.com, you have heard the Kegel.com. That is a the website is there, you are getting huge databases. You can, if you are unable to prepare database, because collecting data, doing the data, and if you have no time, to download the publicly available data, which you want to do some research. You just the small papers you have to publish. Take our data only. You start to experiment with professor, and you will get some results. At least you try to bring what we calculated, same results. Then also it is great.
Thank you, thank you one and all. I once again thank uh, principal sir, president sir, entire team of faculty member, particularly sir. They have given me this is the second time I am coming to this college. Uh, great to see you once again. Thank you, thank you one and all.